Steve here. Um, so yesterday I made a collection update video and I mentioned that there was one record that hadn't come in yet, but hadn't moved for four days. Showed up today. Uh, so stoked to have this. This is the first time I've ever had a copy of this masterpiece. This is Nocturnal Mortem, Lunar Poetry. Um, Osmosis Productions reissue. Uh, one of my one of my favorite black metal albums of all time. Absolutely adore this album. Uh, I believe Sean Countback and Blackerith talked about this album once. In one of his uh, top 13 Stone Gold classics. And I've been hunting for a copy of this ever since. Uh, took a listen to it um, on YouTube. This is phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Love this album. And I think it just beat one deer. It's my favorite black metal album of all time. Such a killer. Anyway, I thought I'd show this. And uh, it, it's a filler. Some other stuff I've got recently and just haven't shown, <clears throat> but really love. So right now I'm listening to Emperor, uh, The Discipline of Fire and Demise, it's, uh, Candlelight USA 2003. I love it. Such a great album. I'm in a black metal mood, so I was jamming this out early, and uh, that, of course, carried on with some more symphonic uh, black metal. More pro this one's more proggy, but uh, my favorite track on this motherfucker is uh, The Prophet. Anyway, moving on to uh, stuff I've got recently, recently other than the Nocturnal Mortem. Got this Black Sabbath Heaven and Hell reissue. It comes with uh, some bonus tracks. It's like they're all live. 1980. Yeah, yeah. I love this album. One of my favorite Black Sabbath albums. Killer album. And most of what I'm going to show are reissues uh, and some new stuff. But, uh, I want to show this reissue. I have the first pressing of this, but saw this with the bonus tracks I wanted to <clears throat> To my homeland, where I'm from originally, German, German fresh. Uh, kind of dropped out of the thrash scene for a little bit, and now I'm trying to pick up pace and pick up where some of these bands, these classic bands are releasing, releasing uh, newer material. This is, this is a phenomenal album. I love this record. Uh, they the variant on it, pretty freaking sick. Oh, see that? The clear marble white. And, uh, uh, this album is just killer. Some great, great stuff. I'm not going to show anything you guys haven't seen before, but just to fill in the gap. Stuff that eventually was show, but I want to show now. Uh, this uh, reissue of uh, Exodus Bonded by Blood. This is killer. I love the variant on this one. Pretty cool variant, but pretty badass. Yeah, white, or clear, clear white. Matt Killer, badass. Thick too. The heavy duty freaking thrash metal right there. Exodus. Bonded by Blood. One of my favorites. 
little tired, man. Another reissue I got recently is uh, one of my another German thrash band, uh, Pleasure to Kill Creator. It's a badass remaster reissue. I believe it's just on black. It's, it's heavy duty. It's on thick cardboard. Uh, only thing I don't like what they did is put remastered there. I, I, it is what it is. It's not going to hurt it or anything. This sounds phenomenal. Um, I think I have shown this before. But, uh, anyway. What's cool about this? It comes up with the Flag of Hate EP. Killer stuff. One of these days I'll show all the uh, first press, second press uh, creator albums I got. But this uh, this is just a treasure. Treasure, pleasure to kill. Another reissue I got. 2018 Megadeth Killing is my business. Uh, and business is good. The final kill. It's got some bonus tracks, some bonus live, and some demos. Probably heavy duty. And this is one. This is my favorite Megadeth album. Um, I have the OG press, um, but you spot it. Oh yeah, here it is. OG press. I believe I have showed shown this one before, uh, when I showed that one, <laughs> killer, another one, you know, I'm a little bit behind, got Benediction Scriptures album, and this is phenomenal, this uh, killer piece of art, back to their true, true form, this variant is Marble Red, uh, Nuclear Blast, phenomenal album, absolutely love the addition to this stuff, I love that artwork, the killer artwork, this is a badass record, uh, another one I just recently got, some Vader, uh, Solitude and Madness. This, uh, this borderlines, this is more thrashy, uh, I think. I feel like this is a thrash album. And, uh, I could be wrong. I mean, you guys might have a different opinion. This phenomenal piece of art. Yep. And the variant on this one is pretty sick. Green and orange. This is absolutely badass. And this is a badass freaking record. Phenomenal. Vader, another Vader album. Uh, this is 2011. I've had this for a while. It's my favorite Vader album. I mean, I like the first couple albums, and then after that, it's this one. I, mean, I like everything between, but if I have to pick a favorite, this one, more, more, Welcome to the Morbid Reich, my Vader. This, this is fucking awesome. I like the variant on this one, too. Matches that uh, album cover. A splatter. Absolutely badass album. I'm a... Uh, I gotta stay up tonight because I gotta work of course tomorrow night. And that blows. But I'll listen to these gems. Another killer. And then last but not least, maybe a short video. I just mainly want to show that my not Carla Mortem, but uh, Cancer Shadow Gripped. Uh, this is absolutely killer. Seems like I showed this before, but I may have and deleted the video. Um, it's just on black. 
Man, I tell you what, this is, I love the guitar tone on this album. Phenomenal guitar tone. Anyway, fellas, you know, uh, kind of like an extension uh, update three. Badass shit. Um, anyway, adios.